Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for mid-November, <coughs> taking you guys on into uh, the month of December here. Let's see, you see I've already laid down a Romance Angels card for you guys that we will look at at the end of the reading. See if it adds to your message or if it has something separate for you, okay? The Hierophant here. Hmm. I almost feel like some of you with the higher fit energy, um, you have your own beliefs about something, but I feel like some of you are um, allowing yourselves to, to give in to something or um, be led by someone else here. This is Taurus energy. Hang on one second. I think my cat is destroying the house. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, let's see what is crossing you. What is crossing my Aquarius. Five of Cups. Hmm. This is having regrets and, and feeling distraught here. All the cups are spilled over. I think for some of you, um, this is basically saying to not uh, lose yourselves because you want something from someone here, okay? Um, we have two fives, very conflicted energy. Do not lose yourselves because you are wanting something from someone. And, and, and not losing yourself it's actually you know staying true to what it is that you believe because you don't want to have regrets in a situation where you didn't follow your first mind or follow your intuition here okay Scorpio energy with the five of cups five of chalices what's the underlying issue here for Aquarius the King of Pentacles. Hmm. I think this is being in a relationship, being in a very committed relationship, having someone that's going to be there for you regardless and you for them. I think this is what you guys are trying to like um, solidify here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I think there is someone in your life that's um, uh, is their way or the highway type of person and they're very stubborn. It could be an Aries energy here as well because Aries kind of, they're, they're almost like Scorpios but, um, but not. They have that very Mars energy, um, can be volatile, volatile uh, get angry even. So... In the recent past for Aries for Aquarius my bad huh <clears throat> the nine of wands hmm there's some there's something I feel like that you were being very defensive about or somebody was being very defensive about this is Sagittarius energy um, really trying to protect themselves um, getting tired easily I, I do feel that there's somebody here that's significant to you guys that it made you feel like they were trying to shut you out, made you feel like um, they were giving up, that they were getting tired, and, um, and, and really making you feel like it's something that you guys were doing that was making them feel this way. And, um, and I think now, you know, you're at that point where you're wanting to compromise, like, you know, well, it probably wouldn't be so bad if I just, you know, allow them this, you know, but I don't want you to do something that you're not 100% comfortable with because you may end up uh, regretting something here, okay? If you don't 
stick by what it is that you believe. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Aquarius. The Emperor. Aries energy. Hmm. I think, you know, a part of you is like, I'm going to stand up for myself. And I'm not doing what they want me to do. But another part of you is, is like, I don't want to do this because I know there's a possibility that I could, you know, lose this person forever. But in your, like, where you're at right now, what you're thinking about is I need to stand my ground. I need to allow them to show me what it is that they're made of instead of like me always showing them. Because they want what they want, but what they want is not necessarily what's good for you. And this, uh, this is what I see you guys like contemplating here. And I think both of you are very strong, very strong will, very strong personalities, but um, I think this person is more stubborn. You're more, you know, you will give in a little bit. The emperor is somebody that is, is, um, you know, they don't necessarily wear their heart on their sleeve, but it doesn't mean that they don't have a heart or they're, they're non-emotional. They, they just don't overreact. They're very in control of their capacities. Okay. Very in control, and I see that's what you're thinking about. Like, I need to stick to my guns here, but you know, your emotions are still involved in the situation and not wanting to give up. What's coming in for Aquarius? Okay, just jump out at me. The Eight of Swords here, Gemini energy. Hmm, in despair and despair. I do see that you guys are uh, kind of torn and feeling like, you know, things are probably not going to change, especially if you give in to whatever it is that uh, I'm, I'm hearing demands for some reason that this person is wanting or else. Um, I, I see you like kind of trying to, to appease them and falling back into something that you're not necessarily comfortable with and cycles repeating. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. How is Aquarius viewing this situation? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. You feel like you guys could really have a strong relationship. But I feel like the emotional attachment is something that you question. Like it's not, it's not really there or it's not like you would like for it to be. Uh, maybe you guys are good together as far as like finances are concerned. Um, you know, you are good at doing your daily routines or whatever. But it's like that, that emotional connection is not as strong as you guys would like for it to be but um some of you feel like you know you've invested a lot into this situation already and uh possibly not wanting to start over some of you are wanting to start over you know it it goes uh two different ways here is um just really thinking about whether or not you should like give in and kind of let this person have their way or whether you should stand your ground and not do what's best for you because tens are endings here it's the culmination of of the energy of this suit which is a ten of pentacles the pentacle suit it's like you've done everything that you could possibly do to hold this together for some of you and it's time to start over somewhere else but again, others of you are feeling like, okay, this is it for me. We've gotten this far. I can't just give up on it. Virgo energy there. What is the influence here for Aquarius? The King of Wands. Mm, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I'm getting that, you know, not that you want to be in control right now, but you want to 
um, I, I feel like have like this excitement and really not dwell on this person providing that for you. Some of you guys, like I said, are really wanting to like start over. There's something that you're lacking with this person. And I think it's like the the emotional um, connection that you would like that the how this person actually treats you is something that is in question here. Um, again, I feel that this is a very like uniform connection where you know you come home every day, you talk on the phone every day, but it's 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 almost feeling kind of lackluster to you guys. And um, I think that you would like to see more action coming from this person um and if not you're thinking about like you know leaving the situation okay <clears throat> hopes or fears for aquarius ten of cups you want that emotional connection here this is what you want. Yeah, you you live your mundane lives and you go to work every day and you eat dinner tonight every night together, but you don't even have conversation while you're eating dinner. Something like that. This is what you want. You want that engagement. That emotional engagement. Some of you are also wanting a family and you're wanting this person to really take the initiative to act like, you know, they really want to be with you. They want to. They're eager about it. And I think that's what's influencing you. It's like, you know, if, if they don't take the initiative towards me, then I probably need to have more control over myself and remove myself from the situation, especially if nothing is going to change here. So let's see what the outcome is for you guys. Two of chalices or two of cups some of you guys if you're not already married and you've just been with this person um i see you guys possibly getting married i see you guys um having a conversation with this person because it does end up in the two of cups shared emotions maybe some of you guys after looking at this reading or you're in the process of doing this already having a conversation about this person like yeah it's good to sit down every night it's good to have a routine it's good to be there for each other but this is what i need this is what i need to be happy this is what i feel like is lacking and i see that um, you guys actually have a very good reading other than the Eight of Swords here, but um, you really do. I think this is all about miscommunication. I think that it needs more communication, to be honest with you. Um, there is a definite, like, strong relationship here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. It's like, this is a strong situation here, if not a marriage for some of you guys. But I think that you don't want to be in a cycle where, um, you know, the negative things repeat themselves. You guys fall back into the same rut. You don't want to be in the same rut. You want to be, you know, have more excitement and, and more, you know, hugs and kisses and, you know, that sort of thing in your relationship. And that's understandable. So let's see what's going on here. This is Cancer Pisces energy here. It says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Look at that. Yes, indeed. I don't have anything else to say about this. Forgiving and learning. You know, you can't hold on to things from the past, especially if you want to move forward. Okay? So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.